Hey, what is going on there YouTube? This is Robert and today I'm bringing to you the full drop list for this week, which is week six of the full winter 2021 season. Now this week we have a collaboration and we have a couple of other accessories and overall I'd say it's like a nice, calm, decent week in the end. And yeah, there isn't really much to say. The one thing that I'm still just looking out for and keeping an eye out for is whether it's 4 p.m. or 11 a.m. I have seen a large majority of people say that they do want it to be 4 p.m. because it's easier but personally for me, it's just it's just my normal routine and it's just the normal routine that I think a lot of people have got used to as well as the fact that for me personally, I know that a lot of people rely on looking at like the drop and the list in general and just everything around it, the sellout times and everything from me for those who are in other uh, countries. So yeah, we'll just have to wait and see and let's get straight into this. Okay, so we're kicking off the list for this week with the SIG uh, food jar. Obviously we've had a couple of SIG products before. Their retails are normally up uh, just because it is what it is. Compared to the prior one, I think these are more aesthetically pleasing and more uh, usable in the end because I believe the prior one was white with red, whereas these are like black, red. They're very simple. You can't really see too many scratches or things on them and they're just gonna be easier in general. Yeah, I mean 750 milliliters, I'm guessing is the amount that they can take in the end. I was debating getting one, but the retail of like 73 pounds overall with shipping, it's a bit high. Uh, for the next item, obviously people in the UK, I don't know if it's the same ad in the US, but you know, what's that coming over the hill? It is a hex bug in this case and it, does have a 28 pound retail now it is a five pack i get that but i just didn't realize that they were like 33 pounds with shipping it's a lot for the hex bugs i mean it's novelty it's a bit different but at the same time it is a high retail for something so like i had one in my drawer like literally like two or three weeks ago i threw it out but i had one because i would have demonstrated but yeah yeah, it is what it is. I mean, you can get them if you want, but God. We then have a military boonie. Uh, these always look nice and tend to do like well, depending on their colorway and what size you get, obviously. Normally, it's the larger sizes that do well. Personally, for me, the black colorway and this more, uh, I was going to say like wolf gray, but more like gray tint to like black colorway, uh, I think are the best two. The middle ones are okay, but yeah, I think those two are the best. Also, obviously when it comes into that winter time, uh, people do want them. At the same time, when it comes into like the spring summer when people are going fishing, it's the same thing. It's sort of like an all round uh, type of piece, like year long, it's okay. We've then got the Faces sweater, which is actually a piece that I really like. If I hadn't gone and picked up the Crow sweater, I would have got one of these because I really do like the style to it. It reminds me of a very old like uh, look and art style that was around and yeah. In general I just think it is a cool and clean piece and yeah. I don't know which one I prefer out of the two. I think that the black colorway might work more for the winter time but at the same time white colorway is nice as well but yeah they both do a great job so they are available obviously. We then have the Arabic logo 5 panel. Uh, personally for me I don't think most of the colorways are good in the end. Uh, I will just purely say, uh, because it is what it is, that the Lakers colorway or the yellow colorway is going to sell out in a fast-ish time frame, just because that's what happened with the hoodie. You have a colorway that is very iconic and seen, and I think more so in America, it will sell out faster, but yeah, it, it will just happen. I think that the green and the blue are also nice, but that's about it. We then have the first piece from the True Religion Club, which is going to be the zip-up hoodie. Uh, it's got this sort of gradient fading uh, look to it, almost like the washed look, I guess you'd call it. Uh, not really my favourite, I'll be honest, and the retail isn't my favourite either, especially for a zip-up, but I do know a lot of people who are interested in this and wanting to go for it, so... Yeah, we then have a tail uh, hooded sweatshirt. I believe this is the hoodie that does go all the way around the back, yeah. Now sometimes I complain about it not going around the back. Other times, I mean, it's okay, but I don't know. Uh, pink colorway I do like, but that's probably about it. We then have the Kanji uh, camo zip up uh, baseball jersey. I remember asking what it said on there and somebody said when I was streaming the lookbook what it says. And now I've completely forgotten. I would hope that it just says Supreme, but I, I don't know. I'm not going to act like I can read kanji because I tried to do that for my, uh, like, final, uh, like, major project for my uni course. 
and I sort of understood how to read. <laughs> now I don't at all, because I, I didn't keep up with it, so yeah. But out of these, I think they do look really clean. Uh, I more so prefer the front colorway and just about the back colorway. The middle doesn't do too much for me, but yeah, the front and the back, I think, are quite clean and nice. Uh, we then have the John Coltrane uh, Houghton jacket, or the I Love Supreme uh, denim Houghton jacket. It does have quite a high retail price, so I don't know how people are going to feel about it. I think that the black colorway works a lot better for it, but the trend is more so that uh, like the blue denim colorway just sells out and sells better as an overall. But personally, I think that the black colorway just flows more so with it. We then have the True Religion beanie. Same sort of thing with this gradient look. I don't know how I feel about it still because it looks like you've just sapped the color out of some of the aspects of it. So yeah, I don't know. I would have said the black or gray were my favorite, but I'd more so go for the purple because it doesn't look so like desaturated uh, with this color change. But the gray is still nice. We then have the John Coltrane uh, regular jean. Same sort of thing for this. I think the black colorway just looks better. More so, obviously, again, the blue does tend to sell out and sell for more in the end. But personally, I just think that black colorway works better. Same for the next piece, which is the Gons Cordroy Chino Pan. I think that black colorway is just nice, clean and simple. I believe it's embroidered, but it's not. So I'm wrong on that aspect to it. Uh, but yeah, I don't think it's got that much detail to the point where it will sell out, but I still like when they have a Gons piece here and there, so yeah. We then have the Dragon Ringer tee. Yeah, um, it's not the best. I think that the blue and the pink and the white are okay, but then saying that people probably like the brown colorway, so we'll just have to wait and see. I'm just not a fan of the high retails in the end. It's just, it is what it is. Uh, we have the denim trucker jacket from the True Religion pieces as well. Uh, I like Woodland look, but I think that the uh, pink colorway reminds me of an older Supreme collab from a few seasons ago, being the Levi's or however you want to pronounce it, a collaboration where they had a pink one and there was also another trucker jacket they released prior to that that was pink too that I really liked. So yeah, pink pieces from them I think are quite nice and they stand out because the tone that they choose is quite clean. So yeah, but I'm not a fan of the whole gradient change, like I said. We then have the Gonge Corduroy work shirt. Same sort of thing. I think that the middle colorway people might like, but more so I think black colorway is just better. I'm not a fan of corduroy, so... Yeah, uh, it is what it is. And then with the last couple of pieces being the embossed vines short sleeve top. It's not great, 68 pound retail, it's just a bit high. We then have the Kanji uh, camo beanie. Same sort of thing, uh, left colorway has a very like woodland camo look. Black-ish colorway is nice and the blue I still think just stands out the best with it. We then have the True Religion uh, denim cargo pant. It's okay, like pink and woodland I think are fine. These two, not so much, it looks it just doesn't look great to me. Uh, we then finished on the mixed stripe beanie, which is in a league of its own, I believe, uh, for this piece. So yeah, that is going to cover this week. That is going to cover what is dropping for this week. As per norm, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. I still don't know what I'm going to be going for, to be honest. I could go for a food jar and hold on to it. At the same time, you could just get an Arabic logo five panel and just flip it most probably. Or one of the boonies with the same. I don't know about the hex bug. I, I really don't know how they're going to do. Uh, other than that, I do like the beanie. But I'm not really feeling like picking up any more beanies. Because I have so many currently. So yeah. But like I said, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. I hope that you have a good day. And I will see you all next time. Before I say that, uh, my voice is slightly gone. So if it's like a tone lower. Or if it's out of like tune. That's why. So yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you all next time. Peace. <laughs>